Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. We have the tribe reset here. Let's check it out. Um, I already looked at it, but we got some pretty cool stuff. So we have Cryoneer damage, heavy speed, iron reward, gumboot energy gain. I'm gonna boost that up right now because that's what we want. Uh, Hot pot three HP, rocket launcher damage. I think I'll boost up heavy speed just for the fun of it. I'll do a heavy video later on in the week. Uh, just to have a little fun. But um, that's all I'm going to boost up for now. I might boost up more later on just to spend some of these resources. But today, guys, we're going to be doing three microwavers versus Hammerman Strikes back. Now, Jimmy was supposed to do this video last week, but he uh, messed it up. So we had to remove the video. But um, the audio was too much, and he never re-rendered and uploaded it again. But it's fine. We're going to do it in today's video. Last week when I had three microwavers, it was very difficult to take down Hammerman. I don't think I was I succeeded in taking down Hammerman. So it's going to be interesting to see um, if we are able to defeat Hammerman, Hammerman today. Um, ultimately, it comes down to can, we, can our microwavers take down the riflemen or take down whatever troop, heavies, zookas, those troops before like grenadiers come in the back or scorchers come in and destroy it or even tanks come in and destroy it so it's going to be interesting to see i've mentioned before that um the the hot pots are much better to drop than the microwavers but um yeah I, I, if you want to defend hammerman and you had a choice between any prototype that we've seen so far i would say drop a hot pot down it's still way better than any other prototype. That being said, guys, uh, if you want to have a little fun, you could drop a microwaver, but you need at least two on your base to make it worth having. Um, and it's still not even better than some of the other prototypes. So there's good prototypes, there's bad prototypes. Anyway, um, I believe this is fleet number three, so we should be able to beat it. But um, Gumboot energy gain, I believe that's the energy you gain from destroying a building. So normally it's three energy for every building you destroy. Here we go, guys. Oh, dang it. Okay, we might actually lose this. Probably not. No, we, we'll, be, we'll beat it. Our uh, boom cannons need to represent and come in action here. And our shock launchers are doing a great job here. So well, let's keep shocking this troop. Um, I want to see how much the Gumboat Energy boost is because I believe it would be did it boost up 4% every time I think it boosted up 4% every time so would there would it not even like give you any more if you boost it up the first couple times uh, we're going to test it out quick just to test and see oh that was fleet number 4 we're going to test it out we're going to grab warriors because warriors are easier to see when you're doing testing stuff, I'm gonna hit an NPC base. Um, okay, we'll just take we'll just take down this actually. We get three. We get three. We get three. So yeah, look, it doesn't. It's not even gonna help you. I don't know if it's an overtime thing, but it doesn't seem worth it at all. Is that what gumboat energy gain is? Wait, let me check something. Gumboat energy gain. It. It looks like, wait, does that tell us? No. It looks like it's making it sound like the energy you gain from destroying a building is boosted up by point or 18%. So 0.18 has a multiplier. So is that, <laughs> does that mean that every 100 buildings you destroy, um, 82 of them will give you three energy and 18 will give you four energy is that what it means i don't know it's kind of confusing i feel like it's kind of pointless to be honest like shouldn't it boost up to 100 percent? not 100 percent. i don't know that's weird i i don't know how it's supposed to work or anything but it doesn't seem right and it doesn't seem helpful so either and i gotta give it to boom beach the boom beach team they've been very good at noticing bad tribes since we had these new tribes injected into the game they've been very good at noticing and realizing when we have a bad tribe and fixing it before it gets too far into the week maybe only like fix it after a week which is nice so i feel like they'll do something to it because it seems kind of pointless at the moment 
and I guess they don't like having pointless traps. So maybe the, they could change it to something else. But that's what they did with the smoke screen last tribe cycle. They could switch it to something else, or they could adjust the boost it gives you. So it actually helps you. Because I feel like it doesn't, I guess it doesn't need to give you something every boost up, but level 5 should at least boost it up enough to give you 4 or 5 energy for every building you destroy, not 3. Or not a percentage, at least. Like, boost it up by number. Or, I mean, it still has to be a percentage, but what I'm saying is, it doesn't really make sense. And it, I don't I don't get what it's supposed to do. That's all I'm saying. Anyway. Some of these riflemen are still staying alive. They're sitting there. Boom cannons need to take it out so my troops can hit the headquarters. Good. Medics are dying because they're being stupid. And we have boom cannons back here, which do not seem to be in range. We'll put on times four to speed it up. Um, so yeah, let me know down below if I'm missing something or if it's just a stupid tribe idea. Um, some I, I know a lot of people get so upset when Boom Beach has a tribe problem and they like, didn't you test it? Did you you put this in the game, didn't you test it? Didn't you realize how bad it is? And I mean, I guess it could be true to an extent, but just be thankful that the team is willing to turn it, the tribe around in a week. Like, if it's useless, don't boost it up. It's that simple. Nobody's getting an advantage. Nobody's getting a disadvantage if it's useless by boosting it up. So, I mean, it's kind of annoying. We Oh, he ran out of time. It's kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. But honestly, it doesn't, it doesn't make me mad at all. Like, I don't really care. I don't know if it makes some of you guys mad, but, um, yeah, I, I trust the boom beach team, that's all. Anyway, um, we'll put on times two. Times four is always, always a little too fast. And this is an amazing stage for my waivers to come into action here and just completely wreck his, uh, rifleman army and all of these heavies here. It should, it should deal some very, very nice damage to these heavies. And it doesn't just kill one or a couple heavies, like the Hot Pot targets Splash Heavies, but the Microwavers, any troop in the range is going to be destroyed. That was Stage 6. We destroyed Stage 6 using our default base layout. Now you're like, Christian, how did these work against real players? Well, that was yesterday's video. If you guys want to go check it out, go on our channel page and check it out. Um, that was, uh, everyone was using Rainmakers, which kind of sucks. We'll get a more detailed look once the Rainmakers leave. And, uh, this Microwaver cycled around a second time, so it could be a while, but we'll try to get a different defense log when there's no Proto Troop in the game. But this is very good to see. We're gonna defeat, we're gonna defeat Hammerman today. He only has, all of these troops are pretty vulnerable by our Microwavers. Um, heavies, maybe not as well as I hope, but they don't deal a lot of damage, and their HP is a lot, but over time, since they don't deal a lot of damage, we should be able to pull off the W. Okay, we'll put on times one here. He, oh, he's shocking my microwavers now, so now Hammerman is getting smarter and smarter. We're gonna move our shock launchers up to the front of the base, like so. We'll just we'll just try it again. Kind of weird. He's shocking my my prototype here, which is weird. I've never seen that before. I, I, th I always thought it targeted a building, and it does. But what if someone doesn't have a prototype down? What does it target then? Maybe it's just putting a sh a shock in that position. I don't know. Anyway, once his microwavers come in action, we should just destroy his entire army because it does deal splash damage to every troop in the range, which is pretty cool. Anyway, um, we're just going to watch total destruction. My microwaver is just representing for our team here. And he shocks my microwavers again. Okay. That's weird. I've never seen that before. But we're going to... Oh, man. That kind of sucks. Um, I'm trying to think of a way we could redesign our base to make sure that doesn't happen. First of all, we don't need a microwaver in the back because that's not going to help us at all. What we're going to do 
is we're going to move first of all we need we can move that up because that's not going to do anything i'm sorry guys my voice has been just dying every single episode and i don't know why i'm just i'm losing my voice and this is it's so weird it's never happened to me before but i think it's the humidity change but anyway um i moved my back microwaver up so I believe he's gonna keep shocking these two microwavers, so this one shouldn't be shocked in theory. Um, but yeah, the shock launchers should keep getting shocked. If he targets a building, or is that not how it works? I've always thought it was, but... So he shocks my microwavers, and he seems like he shocked that one. Oh my gosh. Hammerman is just savage today, guys. He's savage. Okay, we gotta put on times four. It looks like he's shocking the flame also. Oh, man. Okay. Well, we're still... We're getting closer. We're getting closer. I've just got to figure out how to defeat him. It's this stupid shock launcher. Okay. We'll try it again. Hopefully, it works this time. <laughs> we'll put on times four. We don't need to see this in slow motion anymore. Or normal motion anymore. Um, okay. Microwaver. Helping us out here completely dominating that side and he just destroyed that side that's what we wanted we'll be able to defeat this now very very beautiful that is how you do it i don't know if hot pot in this situation would have been better obviously if you had three hot pots you can defeat pretty much any lieutenant hammerman base you get so i don't know if that would have been better but um yeah we, we defeated it that was fun that was a lot of fun and all my voice is dead um but if you guys liked the video, make sure you drop a like as always. I'm sorry again about my situation here. I'm going to try to push up to 700 because that's where Jimmy is. And then we will start our pushing challenge and that will be a lot of fun. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next Boom Beach video. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like as always. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.